it's just as exciting the second time around. The Benilde St. Margaret's girls basketball team is back in the state tournament. The Red Knights won section 6-3A and are the number two seed for state. BSM had high expectations coming into last year's tourney, only to be upset by Mankato East in the quarterfinals. We really don't want to lose again in our first game because we really had the goal to win last year and then that loss just really kind of hurt in the heart. So this year we really just want to play our best, come in even stronger than last year and just make the deepest run we can. I think last year we kind of looked too far ahead once we got there and then the first round kind of just took us by surprise and other team played better and we just were kind of all frazzled and it was all new to us. So Tim Ellison is in his first year as Benilde's head coach. While it took some time to gel, he said the Red Knights are now playing their best ball of the season. It's been a work in progress, and these last six to eight weeks has just been very rewarding as that's starting to come together for us, and our play has shown that. BSM faces longtime rival De La Salle in the 3A quarterfinals Wednesday afternoon. The team they defeated early in the season. They have a lot of talented players. Um, they're really good shooters. They know how to penetrate into the lane, finish well, they have a good post. So we really just got to match up well and try our best to defend them and stop their shooters. The Red Knights are 23 and six with five of their losses coming to class 4A schools. Well, they have the potential to win it all this week. With the talent we have uh, and the way we're playing, I'm not scared to play anyone. Um, however, we know that the ball has to go in and and it could happen at any point where things don't go our way. So we rely on pressure defense, trying to create easy baskets for us and that's kind of gotten us through a lot of tough times. John Jacobson, CCX Sports. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.